Number 28. Use the standard entropy data in Appendix G to determine the change in entropy for each of the following reactions. All the processes occur at the standard conditions and at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we have our equation here. It's balanced, right? We have MnO2 solid, which will yield Mn solid plus O2 gas. Now, they just want us to find the change in entropy. And the change in entropy, change is always that delta, right? And in this case, we have to find the delta S. S stands for entropy. Now, we're using standard data, so that means that we're just finding the delta S notch. That means that, you know, we're under standard conditions, and we just want to find out the change in the entropy. And this just all means that we're seeing if we're becoming more random or less random. Well, we can kind of guesstimate what our delta S is going to be, right, whether it's a positive or a negative. Looks like I'm starting with the solid that is very structured in terms of its molecules, right? Solids are very structured. I'm ending with a structured solid. But then I also produce a gas, which the molecules are all over the place when we're talking with gases, right? So I'm going from something that's less random to something that's more random. If you're increasing in randomness, you're increasing in entropy. So I'm going to guess that this delta S value is going to be a positive. Now, I did have to go to that appendix G, aka just an appendix in the back of the book, just to write out what the S values are for the corresponding substances. So MnO2 is 53.05, Mn is 32, and O2 is 205.2. But now what are we going to do with these? Well, we're going to use the formula, which is this. Delta S for the whole entire reaction is always the sum. So this just means sum. That's just addition. Right? So it's the sum of the products minus the sum of your reactants. So products minus reactants, you just got to add them up. Now, are these values going to be the same? Well, it all comes down to the balanced equation. Keep in mind that for all of these, you had only one of each. You had one MnO2, you had one Mn, and one O2. And these values are always for one mole. But just for practices, let's just say that, you know, you had two MNs, you would have to take your 32 and times it by two. But since they're all ones, I'm just going to multiply all of them by one. Technically, you don't have to, right? And then you sum up the side that has multiple substances. So it's, it's literally MN plus O2. So it has to be this number plus this number. The total on the left side, the reactant side isn't going to change because you only have just one of them. So 53.05. But now let's just see what the product side is. So 32 plus 205.2. I get 237.2. And now these are your two values that are going to go into your reaction or your, you know, your equation here. So delta S for your reaction, Rx and its reaction, it's just 237.2 minus uh, the 53.05, and let's just get that number. I'm seeing already that when we do this subtraction, it's going to be a positive value, so we guessed correctly. Let's just see what the number is. 237.2 minus 53.05. Uh, your answer should only have one sig fig after the decimal, so I'm going to just say that this is 184.2, and that's the same units as your S values, so this is joule per mole times Kelvin. And that's the end. So it's a positive entropy value. You're gaining entropy. You're becoming more random, more chaotic as you produce your products, which makes sense. You got a gas there. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. We also got physics and math videos out on the channel if you need help in that with more subjects to come. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.